Arbor Day. It's a tree planting holiday, first celebrated nationwide in our country in 1872. And April 25th is also DNA Day, when Watson, Crick, Wilkins, and Franklin and their colleagues first published their findings on the structure and nature of DNA in 1953. So today, we can combine those celebrations by planting a clone of the original tree of Hippocrates and by unveiling for the first time the gene sequence for the tree. We are, in essence, through science, returning the tree of Hippocrates to our campus and also renewing, reinvigorating, and preserving the historic living monument for posterity. The, the tree, of course, was given by the ambassador of Greece uh, in 61 and then planted in 62, and our institution began business, so to speak, in 1962. So uh, National Library of Medicine and the tree grew up together. Under this famous tree in Kos, in the island of Kos, where he mentored practitioners from, of his art from throughout the known world of the time, people of all religions, backgrounds, and ethnicities. This was, if you want, the NIH of the 5th century. Hippocrates used to gather his disciples around him under the shadow of a plane tree. And this tree lives in this great institution today. It took American ingenuity and dedication to clone this in a way, as I understand it, and have this great uh, uh, dedication again today. The DNA Barcode of Life project. It's a fascinating project for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of organisms. The goal is to have a physical specimen from that organism available in a museum for study and along with that a short DNA sequence from that organism. And this is very important for conservation efforts and for basic research. Dr. Amy Driscoll for, from the uh, Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History downtown uh, took a tiny DNA sample from the original clone that we had from 50 years ago and, uh, and had that sequenced. So now we know where uh, the tree of Hippocrates is, is standing in the overall tree of life. And I think he would have been very excited about what uh, DNA comparison and other methods, modern methods, are, are how they're being used to better understand and ultimately treat human disease.